Four years ago, Promise was only three months pregnant when she appeared on my show. Her boyfriend at the time, Christopher, was denying their four-month-old son. But after he confessed to cheating and the DNA results proved that he was the baby's father, Promise said she had enough. I think that the baby's mine. I honestly believe it is. I just want to be 100% certain. I have denied the baby because there's been several people tell me that it's not my baby. Yes, yeah, she brought me here because she think I was cheating on her, which I already told her I did. I have got violent towards her in the past, and that is the main reason that I left. It's because I do not want to end up back in jail because that's just not the type of person I am. I want to help take care of the kids. I, I don't, I'm not a sorry father. He was a good father in the beginning. He really was. But then just overnight, he's just, get the baby, get the baby, get the baby. He talks to me like a dog. He treats me like a dog. He used to beat the crap out of me. He, I mean, he put his hands on me when I was pregnant. When do you stop being the human doormat? Today. You took a DNA yes, test. Sir. And guess what? He's the father. He, I told you. He's the father. Tell me you're sorry. This guy is going to on you for as long as you allow him to. After the show, Promise was ready to leave. But before she could, Christopher hit her in the face while she was pregnant and holding their son in her arms. He pled guilty to first degree domestic violence and was sentenced to four years. And Promise is joining us now to give us an update. Uh, Promise, when you watch that clip, what is running through your mind? Sadness. Um, I'm sorry. I haven't really watched, no. Um, I watched a few clips of it, but I haven't haven't been able to bring myself to watch it fully. So watching that, um, it brings back a lot of pain. I'm sad that um, I let myself get that far in a relationship and to be treated that way. And it was so just like cut and dry there that I thought I was working on fixing my family, but really I was just figuring out how to become my own family, you know? So watching that just really brought back some emotions of, you know, like sadness that I had then, then just, I'm also grateful because looking at myself now, you know, I'm in a way better spot now. So looking at that, I'm sorry, it just, I haven't watched it, so yeah. it's intense. That's got to be tough to watch because, you know, uh, just as a father, as a husband, you know, when I run into a guy like him, you know, you, you, you're like, he's every father's worst nightmare, right? Like, oh my God, yeah. if my daughter dated a guy like that, oh, you know, I'd have to kill him, right? Or, you know, I'd have to do yeah. something. But, you know, just, it's a figurative my... speech, but like, this guy is just bad news. He treated you terrible. Um, and then tried to, oh, well, she, she does this to me. That's why I punch her. That's why I do all this. So it's just, yeah. um, just a bad guy. And, and, and to me, when I was talking to her, I was frustrated because like, the way you were describing the relationship and describing him, I'm like, why in the hell would you be with a guy like this? Yeah. And I think that in that moment, when you were asking me that, I was like, I have a baby and I have another baby. And, you know, I grew up in a broken home and I was always like, just wanted this family unit. And I thought, you know, I'm just going to keep giving it everything and just keep maybe one day I'll get this white picket fence that I'm imagining for my family. But, you know, um, coming to the show actually, you know, opened up my eyes greatly yeah. um, to the point to where, you know, I realized that um, family is not volatile or abusive or, you know, just the way that that relationship was. And I have a daughter. I have a son. And I do not want my children to grow up thinking that it is okay to be treated that way or to treat someone's daughter that way. Yeah. And so coming out there and seeing that like secondhand, like just watching and then hearing the words that you said to me, it was just kind of like an eye opening experience, honestly, because I'd never felt so low in my life. And I knew that by watching that, like this is the lowest point. It cannot get any lower. I'm going to lose my life. 
I'm going to lose my children. And those are the two things that mean the most to me. Now, after the show, what happened when the two of you got home? Um, so we got stuck on the same flight. And so he was the whole time in my ear. Um, I'm sorry. I, you know, I want to be with you. I love you. I'm really sorry. Um, we can make this work. And I just didn't want to do it anymore. I was just so tired and so hurt and just drained that when we got home, I said, you know what? I don't want to be with you anymore. Um, we can co-parent. And so it's, I think it was like two weeks after the show, um, I did like a, a supervised visitation with him. Um, Chris had asked me, you know, to bring the baby so he could see him. And I did. Well, in the process of that, um, we were already separated. But in the process of that, he literally held me hostage with my son for like 45 minutes in a bedroom and beat me up. Um, they put, you know, punched me in the face. I had our four month old premature son in my arms when all this was happening. And at that moment, I really just was like, wow, what am I doing to my children? I'm, I'm literally just dragging them along. So I called the police. I got a lifetime restraining order. Um, and I haven't had any face to face contact with him at all since he was arrested except for the court date so after he got arrested he went to prison yes sir he was convicted of first degree domestic violence and he was sentenced to four years in prison and and he's out now though yes sir and you, but you don't see him no no sir he lives across the country um oh that's good yeah, yeah very good <laughs> um so listen i want to say I'm, I'm really proud of you promise because uh, you know, women in domestic violence situations, it is tough to escape, and there's a lot of reasons why women do stay, and it's not as so cut and dry. You have babies with them. And like you said, in your mind, you were hoping that someday the white picket fence, the house would come, but a lot of times in those situations, they're not going to come. You realized it. You woke up. You, you made the best decisions for you and for your children, and you got out of it, and you put this guy where... He belonged for a time, which was prison. So I'm really proud of you. You you had the courage, uh, you know, and I'm I, I I hope coming on the show helped you. What would you say? You know, there's I, women out there in your situation. What would you say to them? Um, first of all, I wanted to tell you thank you for what you said to me when I was there the last time about being the doormat. Um, um, it hit me like a ton of bricks. And there's been several instances that I have thought about those words that you have said to me. And when I left, I was like, oh, that's Steve, dude, he's, he's really not a nice guy. But now I appreciate you and the opportunity and the way that you spoke to me. And, you know, it was just like, hey, get some sense in your head because if, if it had been sugar-coated, I probably would have just walked right back, you know, where I was. And so, um, you know, learning that I can live without abuse, um, learning that I can be an independent person and raise happy children. You know, I, I, it, it opened up my eyes so much when you said those words to me. I just keep saying that because I want to reiterate that it's, it's pretty much what helped save me. And you're capable. I found a wonderful husband. I'm married. I got married in July. My husband is a father to my children. He works every day. He takes really good care of us. And he doesn't call me names. He doesn't hit me. He doesn't leave me high and dry. And he doesn't run off. We're so happy to hear that it turned out well for you. Good luck with your new marriage. Uh, take care of those kids. And, and take care of yourself. Thank you so much once again. I really appreciate you and the opportunity to come back and let you know that, you know, I'm not the person I was then and your words did help make a difference. We're glad to hear it, Promise. Take care.